They need something else. And I can promise you that God knows precisely what to do and when to do it. If you want a specific job and you don't, and you might say to me, but Terrence, the opportunity is gone. The job was given to somewhere else. I wanted to work for that company. I asked God to work for that company. I begged God to work for the company. He did not answer my prayer. I'm not working for that company. That position was given to someone else. Well, you're not dead yet and the company is still around. And who says you're not going to work for that company 20 years from now? You cannot say he hasn't answered your prayer. You cannot say it. Until you are dead, you cannot distinctly tell anybody that God hasn't answered your prayer. I want to take you to some scriptures that's going to prove this point for me. All right, bear with me on this now. The first scripture I want to take you to is Genesis. And I want to go to Genesis 41. I want to take you to the second half of verse 25, the second uh, to verse 28 and verse 32, where God says, God has revealed to Pharaoh what he is about to do. It is just as I said to Pharaoh, God has shown Pharaoh what he is about to do. Verse 32, the reason the dream was given to Pharaoh in two forms is that the matter has been firmly decided by God and God will do it soon. Take you to another verse, please, quickly. I want to take you to Isaiah, Isaiah 46, verses 8 through 11. Remember this, fix it in mind. Take it to heart, you rebels. By the way, that's us who are rebelling against God. Remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. From the east I summon a bird of prey, from far off land a man to fulfill my purpose. What I have said, that will I bring about. What I have planned, that will I do. And there, my brothers and sisters, there is what we should be holding on to. That promise, moreover, than the promise of ask of me whatever you will and you shall receive it. Which, by the way, has context within itself that we need to understand regarding what we ask for and what we're going to receive. But that is another video. Right now, I want to tell you that those promises have not been lies. And they've not not been fulfilled. Because while you're still alive and you're still breathing, you cannot tell anybody that God hasn't answered your prayer. What you can do is hold on to what you've just heard. You can hold on to the fact that God says that what he has planned to do, he will do. He has planned to do something for you. And he will do it. I guarantee it. There's something I'm looking for in life. And it's taken 24 years. And I, it looks as though what I've prayed for for so long is actually going to happen. And immediately this weekend, things seem to be falling apart again. And immediately I go back into smoldering Christian mode. Oh, you see, you're not answering my prayer. And for the love of all things beautiful, listen to me right now. Do not do what I'm doing. Rather do what I'm doing right now in that I need to remember that until I've breathed my last, I cannot say God has an answer to that prayer. Because one of three things are going to happen. Number one, I'm going to get what I've asked for. Or number two, I'm going to get something better than what I asked for. And either way, until one of those two things happen, I cannot for, the, for any reason tell anybody that God has not answered my prayer. While I'm still alive, I cannot say that. So that is what I want you to hold with you tonight. Hold with you this, that until you are dead, until you've breathed your last, you can hold on to the hope that Jesus will answer your prayer. You've got to believe that. That's what you've got to hold on to. Change your perspective. Stop thinking that, see, God is not answering our prayers because it's taken years already. I guarantee you it could take 20 years. It could take 40 years. You don't know. Rather hold on to this while I'm still alive. Anything is possible. For God, he will answer my prayer. He will give me my desires. 
whether it be the ones I've asked for, which possibly it could be, or better than what I've asked for. It's been a long, a long talk tonight. This has come in two parts, part one, part two. Bear with it. I, 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 I apologize for that. I cannot, unfortunately, do the, um, the editing myself. But hear what I have to say. Hear this today. Hear what Jesus is actually saying. It's not me. And he's asking you, just trust me. And you've been a Christian long enough. You've seen enough miracles in other people's lives, if not your own. And I guarantee you, if you look back, you will see there have been many miracles in your life too. Look back. Remember. Remember what God has done for you in the past. And know that he does love you. He didn't just die for you so you can get to heaven. God's not lonely. He doesn't just want to fill heaven with souls. He created you distinctly with all the desires of your heart that you have. He put them there. He created them. He knows that. He created you because he wants a relationship with you. A vested relationship with you. Like I have. Everybody I have a relationship with, I know. I know their desires. I know their wants. And I don't just have a relationship with them so that I have someone to talk to. I, I love people because I love who they are and I know their wants and desires. And where I can, I like to fulfill them. Someone wants a specific movie, DVD, you buy it for them. You never buy gifts for people you love randomly. You try to give them what they want. Now, how much more will God give you what you desire? But you've got to trust that he wants to give you the desire of your heart, the true desire of your heart. And sometimes we don't know what that desire is. We think we do. So two things to take away from this. Number one, God will answer your prayer. And if you're still alive and you're still breathing, you cannot say that he hasn't because it may take years. But number two, and I think this one is going to resonate a little deeper and give you a little more hope. Just because his will is something that needs to be done doesn't mean his will is not the same as yours. It could very well be. But you need to seek him. You need to ask him. And lastly, you need to trust him. I hope this has been uplifting. I hope it's given you some hope. Thank you for spending the time. Thank you for looking at two videos uh, that I've uploaded in order to finish this talk. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I cannot wait on your behalf for God to fulfill your desires. His way. May God bless you, each and every one of you. I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye. Thank you.